So here we have recursion 1 as tr dist. This is the last problem in coding bats recursion 1 problem set. So given a string and a non-empty substring a sub, compute recursively the largest substring which starts and ends with sub and return its length. So here are the sample cases. So first we have cat cow cat, the sub being cat. This substring starts with cat and ends with cat. So the length of this string, um, sorry, so this string already works. And we will return the length of the string, which is 9. Next, we have um, the, sub, the, sorry, the string cat cow cat and the sub being cow. Here, this does not work um, in its present state, and we will narrow it down further until we get this string. This string starts and ends with cow, and we will return the le its length 3. So finally, we have here cat, uh, this string, and our sub is cat. The largest substring here that starts and ends with cat is this string, this substring. The length of this is 9, so we will return 9. So if you think about, um, so this actually is one of the more difficult problems in the recursion one problem set. But if we think about it a little further, then it, we can notice that this is very similar to a previous problem, namely parent bit. Here, it was a very similar problem. We, were, we had to narrow down a string until the string started with an opening parenthesis and ended with a closing parenthesis, except in this case, we had to return that string. In, in um, the str disk problem, we have to return the length of the string, but its essence is the same. We are checking if the first part of the string matches and if the last part of the string matches, and then we will handle those cases appropriately. So what we did here was that we just narrowed it down. If the first part of the string already worked, for example, if we had a string like this, the first part of the string already worked, but the last part of the string didn't work. As such, we kept the first part of the string, but we decremented the last part, um, character to the next, uh, um, next to last character and checked if that does work. In this case, that does work, and we returned that substring. So, um, yeah, so let's, for this problem, because it's a little more difficult and implementation heavy than the other coding bat problems, I have pre-written the code and I will just explain how each part works. So first, we have this. So the base case is if the length of the str is less than the length of sub. If this is true, we know that we can never find a string within str that starts and ends with sub because a single substring cannot exist in str. As such, the length we will return is zero. 0 is the length of the largest substring that we have in str that ends with sub, i.e. there is no substring. Next, the case is, is, is if the length of str is equal to the length of s, s sub. If this is true, the only way it is possible for um, str to start and end with sub is if str equals sub. For example, if our sub equals um, so if we have string str, let's just mean say that the str string is str, and the sub is abc, the only way this string can start and end with abc is if this string is equal to abc, and here it is not, so we'll return 0 if it's not. If it is, for example, this is abc, then we will just return the length of the string, like so. Next, none of this is true, so we'll go on to the real recurrence part. So here, first we will take the length of the sub. Next, we will take the first len characters of the str and the last len characters of str. These um, str.substring, this part in particular, might be a little confusing, but try writing down a few test cases to um, help you understand why it works, and you will soon get it. So after we've gotten the, this pre-computation out of the way, we will now check uh, for the important cases. So if the string we str starts and ends with sub, like so, then this str already works, so we will return str.link, the largest substring that starts and ends with sub. Here, the first, uh, um, the first part of the stri uh, string, the first len characters, equals sub, but the last part does not. This means that we can keep the first characters, but the last characters must be decremented to find another case. As such, we will delete the last character, but keep the first character, and then continue on. So a, a case like this might be, for example, so here, the first part is ABC, and this matches with this. 
However, the last part is BCD, and this does not match. As such, we will move on to the next substring that might work, which is this. We do not need to move this any further because we already found a string that starts um, that's first length characters matches. All we need to do is find the last characters what matches, and in this case, once we've deleted this, our next recurrence will find that this works, and this string is a result. So next we have if the first part of the string equals sub but the last part doesn't. This is very similar to this case except it's the exact opposite. So again, we will delete the first character and but keep the last character with the sub being the same. Again, just to reiterate, this case will be similar to this. So the last characters already work. So this part of the string is what this um is the last part of the final string that we will have. However, this these first three characters do not work. As such, we will move on to the next, which is this, and those match. So in the next recurrence of this, we will have true, maybe. Um, or this might just move on to another case of this, another case of this, and so on. But you don't really have to think about that. Um, just try to think of how the, these two works. But they're pretty straightforward. Um, yeah. So here, our final case. This means that the first does not equal sub, and this last does not equal sub together nor do they equal sub independently. Essentially, the first and the last, n neither of them equal sub. If this is true, we delete the first character and the last character and move on and look for another substring. This is a case like that. So the first character and the last character, sorry, the first three characters, the last three characters do not match. So we will, mo we will move on to the next eligible substring, which is this. Here, we will again delete the first and the last because these three, and these three do not work. Finally, we have this, and those do work, and we have we will return this length nine. As you can see, this code works.